The first Concorde jet takes off. Let's travel back to January 21st, 1976. The first commercial Concorde flights departed simultaneously from London's Heathrow Airport and Orly Airport near Paris. The London flight was bound for Bahrain in the Persian Gulf, while the Paris flight was headed to Rio de Janeiro with a stop in Senegal. These flights marked the culmination of a 12-year joint British and French effort to develop the world's first supersonic passenger jet. Despite its technological achievements, the Concorde faced significant challenges, including complaints about noise pollution from its sonic booms and loud engines. The aircraft officially began operations on January 1, 1976, with British Airways flying from Heathrow and Air France from Paris-Roissy. Building a supersonic airliner involved overcoming significant technical obstacles, the engines needed to deliver double the power of regular jets, and the airframe had to withstand extreme pressures from shock waves and high temperatures caused by air friction. The Concorde's high costs and operational restrictions made it a limited commercial success. Only 16 aircraft were used in service exclusively by British Airways and Air France. Operations eventually narrowed to luxury transatlantic routes between London and New York, as well as Paris and New York, offering a flight time of under four hours. The Concorde's decline began after a tragic accident on July 25th of the year 2000, when an Air France Concorde crashed shortly after takeoff from Paris en route to New York, killing 109 people on board and four on the ground. This was the aircraft's first fatal incident. The Concorde was retired from regular commercial service on October 24th of 2003.